Hi everyone and welcome to this um, latest craft fairy video on how to make one of these ultra trendy bracelets with um, nothing more than some of this um, pony beading plastic string and a button. And um, off we go and you'll make this in no time. The advantage of this type of bracelet is actually it's quite um, unisex and boys as well as girls are wearing them and you know quite often it's so difficult to get something for a boy that um, you'll be really pleased with the effect that you get from this. Now we're going to start with this video with um, a question and that's how long is a piece of string? So how long do you cut your pieces of um, plastic string? to decide on how long your bracelet's going to be. Now when I made this one, because um, my wrist would possibly be a lot smaller than a, than a man's wrist, I cut about a metre and a half and that was plenty to do a bracelet for me. I would suggest if you're going to do one for a man and you want black on the outside, you cut about two metres because it'll give you um, plenty of room. On this um, on this bracelet um, string you will actually get uh, over 18 metres so you've got ample to make nine bracelets from this if you're putting the black on the outside. If you're putting the white on the outside and you alternate it you'll get even more. So you cut for a man's bracelet two metres of this and then for your central string, because you're not going to use anywhere near as much of the centre, because you won't be doing the knots with the centre, you cut enough to go around someone's wrist, double it over, put it round their wrist and see whether it's enough. Now this one is quite short, it would be enough for a child's bracelet. So I would suggest that you go for somewhere like, um, something like, 75 centimetres to a metre, but do a metre on the safe side, you've got plenty of it and it's cheap anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So you cut your central one for about a metre and your outside one that you do the knots on, two metres for a man, okay? If you're a woman, a metre and a half is probably ample. It depends as well on how tight you want your knots to be. If you want your knots to be very, very close together and you don't want to see the centre at all, then you need the two meters even for a woman and you just push them up a little bit closer together okay then what you then do is um, start by threading your cord through your button and I'll show you what to do right now this is the basic stitch that we're going to do we've got um, two strings in the center one to the right and one to the left and all you need to remember is to do it from one side first and then the other side second and then repeat the process so over with this one, under there, as you're crossing them, under, and pull. Okay, now I started with this one, now I'm going to start with this one. Over, over, under. Right, now we're back to where we started. So, this is my right hand, over, over the top, under, and pull. Okay, so we did with the right hand first, now we're going to go with the left hand first this time. Over, over, under, and pull. And for a third time, over, over, and, uh, and pull. And also I'm going to show you because again, you don't want to keep on watching me do this. Over, over, and uh, Now, the reason why we're changing from one side to the other is that it keeps that um, bracelet flat. 
if you don't change then you'll get a twist in the bracelet which also looks extremely attractive but it's something else I'll show you in a in another video but for this for the time being we're just going to end up with a flat bracelet and I'll keep on going and then we'll come back to finish it off now keep on going with your stitches until you've got your bracelet to about the length that you want it. Make sure it's the length that you want it by just measuring it round your wrist and leaving a little bit of uh, a gap because um, you need the gap when you put the, the loop on. Okay, so And don't forget that as well that these braces are fairly forgiving because you can... If you're not quite long enough, you can always open them up a little bit like I've done there. Okay, it will curl a bit when you've done that, but um, it'll be fine when it's on the wrist. Now, to finish off, you want to finish off with a loop so that your loop can go around your button. And I found that the easiest way to do this is by getting to this stage where you've got about this much, or I'd say six inches left, and then folding the inner loop about that much. Don't worry too much because you've got plenty left over. And then we're going to carry on with our knotting. Um, this time though, include your two loops inside your knot. So it would be easier if I retake this down to the table. Okay, so I've included it that side and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Right, now here's my knot. Here's my, sorry, loop. It's included inside my knot. Let's get those now so that they are the same length. Just pull until you've got them the same length. Right, now then, this now gives you a knot that you can pull. See, it's getting smaller so that um, it's possible to pull it when you've got the bracelet on. And then all you need to do to secure this is to cut even before you cut it, is to tie a knot in each of those or you can tie a knot together if you like and then when you've done that okay, that'll stop it from coming out of there it's, it's fair, it doesn't move an awful lot this stuff so it's fairly forgiving right, so there's your knot and that stops it from coming apart from your bracelet and then we'll then finish that off so that that's secure as well let's see what I mean okay that's how you uh, you get it to attach there let's come back off and then that'll go up and down according to um, how big your wrist is because it'll allow you to make a slightly a bigger bracelet if you want to as well. And we'll show you, I'll show you how to finish this off. Okay, I've trimmed it all now, cut it there. Remember I tied it quite tight and because of the way that it's made this stuff doesn't tend to come apart. Put it in there like that. If you find it's too big all you have to do is gently pull on this and it'll make the loop smaller. Now a lot of people tend to wear these so that you can actually see the clasp so they'd wear that on the outside rather than the inside. Let me put it on for you. 